So guys, how do you get, how do you add more muscle to your dog? Well, you have to look at cell function, cell growth, and then foods that feed cellular development, AKA muscle growth. Well, we all, well, not, let me take that back. I don't assume that people know, but a dog needs 10 essential amino acids. Humans, I believe, need nine. So then you say, which amino acid be it there? Some people say 18, some people say 22, some people say 23. It's odd because none of it's been definitively defined, but you have what they call BCAs. In BCAs, in the bodybuilding world, everybody drinks their, their, their BCAs after a workout. Branch chain amino acids supposedly assist in muscle repair, muscle recovery, and muscle growth. Well, that's what repair is. So, Lucy, I said, hey, I wonder which amino is the most valuable when it comes to muscle growth. And it says, it comes up and says Lucy, which is a part of the BCAs. It assists in muscle repair, muscle mass. And then you say, okay, well, which foods have the highest levels of leucine? Chicken legs, 5,160 milligrams. Beef, says skirt steaks, 5,000 uh, and, and seven milligrams. Pork chops, 4,501 milligrams. Now, what does that mean? Well, in one gram, which is not a lot, 1,000 milligrams equals one gram. So technically, there's five grams here. So five grams of leucine in a chicken leg, supposedly. Five grams here and about four grams in the pork chop. About four and a half grams, <laughs> since it's 4,500. Now, how many grams of leucine does your dog need a day? Um, I saved that one for last, because I wanted to look it up so you can see. I'll use this one. <laughs> oh, my love is messing me, look crazy, my boy. <laughs> I can't, I can't hardly type right now, so it'll take a little bit longer. How much? Nutch. Can't even type. How much? Let me see. Let's put it. L E. U C I. Lucy does a dog. I'll tell you one thing, people. Uh, not having this thumb is killing me. It's probably Christian coming in. Uh. I don't think it says. Normally, you know, Google gives you an answer right then and there. What's up, boy? I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'll show you this. Go ahead, let me see. Well, it's okay. This is YouTube, bro. We made it. It's the new stuff that that dude made. How it's kind of. This what? Is it called D-Boss or M-Boss? Oh, this is D-Boss. Yeah, I'm about to say, I have no idea. <laughs> you, you know way more than I would about it. Yeah, M-Boss, I think, what is it, boy? That's tough. And that's sold in? Yeah, he made he made them all like that. He said it's something that he knew he was trying just to like be different. So I'm finna go do a video shoot with uh I got that kid I trained is about to be the number one corner in the draft. Yeah. Probably a top ten pick. So I got one for him to throw on just to get some picks in. Hey, yeah, yeah. ready. That's clean, bro. I like the pockets on the side too. I didn't even realize that. Like, you gonna hurt off. <laughs> yeah, I'm an investigator, bro. I'm feeling I'm looking at the stitching and everything. That's how I think though. <laughs> like this. What's, what's, let me feel this way. I can tell you what's in it most of the time. I used to do the show, shirt and clothes thing. But in any hoot, so what does that mean? On a day where the dogs do more work than another day, we literally just make sure, which they basically get every day. We get eating some chicken. This is pork. Pork's not, oh yeah, pork chop is on. Pork is on here, and of course some beef. For now, stay tuned, take care of your dogs, people. If you want to know how to add muscle to your dog, you need to know which foods complement growth. And just like us back when we were bodybuilding heavy, we like everything mattered down to the gram, down to the, to the replenishing of our cells so that we can make sure we optimize growth. Stay tuned, take care of your dogs, and keep asking yourself the right questions.